He is so frightening what he says. So my long way of saying it's getting worse. In today's video, best-selling author and gold bull Robert Kiyosaki warns that communism has entered America via our school system. He reveals that the dollar is toast and gold is money. Robert concludes by discussing why the Bank of International Settlements just upgraded gold from a tier 3 to tier 1 asset, giving precious metals the recognition they deserve. Before listening to him, please ensure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive into his last interview now. I simply don't trust my government, especially this character Biden, and I don't trust the Fed, I don't trust the banks, and I don't trust Wall Street. So it's pretty simple philosophy. In other words, what I say, you know, every time I'm on your show, if you can print it, I don't want it. So if you can print the dollar, I don't want it. You can print a stock, I don't want it. You know, I want something I can see, touch and feel, or like our friend Jim Record says, what's real? Find out what's real. So as you know, I've been a gold bug since about 1971 when Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. And I'm, I'm becoming more fanatical, not less. And I have, I literally have tons of gold and silver, tons, because I own gold mines. Well, it's the same reason, you know, I, um, I graduated from school in New York in 1969, and I had a high paying job, I'm an oil guy. So I, I, I sail for Standard Oil under oil tankers. So my background is oil. But I still joined the U.S. Marine Corps in 1969 to go fight in Vietnam. And Marines don't fight for Democrats or Republicans, liberals or conservatives. Marines fight for our freedoms. And so when I saw our freedoms being taken away, especially after the 2020 election, like, you know, Donald Trump's a personal friend. I might have written two books together. But when they took our freedoms away, that's when I went back to war. And that's why I, <clears throat> I'm willing to take the fire from the liberal academic left. And I'm, I'm afraid, I'm just concerned about our country and the world, especially this guy Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum. And what the hell are they doing? Why aren't we fighting back? I realize, I hate to say this, but most academics are Marxists. And my poor dad was a Marxist. You know, the abolition of private property, a heavy or progressive income tax is essential for the proper development of communism. And, you know, Biden just appointed about 87,000 new IRS agents to go after small business owners. So we're becoming a fascist totalitarian state. But, and, and most people think, well, paying taxes is you're supposed to do it. If you look at history, the facts are America was founded as a tax revolt. 1773, I believe, Boston Tea Party. It was a tax revolt. We're not a slave nation. That, you know, to say we're, we're a systemically racist country is the biggest lie possible. You know, I mean, there are racists, granted, but we're not systemically racist. And that's why I fight now. And that's why I, I said I better say something. He took my paranoia to a whole nother level. And um, <clears throat> he's worth listening to. My whole company has to listen to this guy, Andy Sheckman, because if you're not a gold bug, by the time you listen, I've listened to him three times now. I'm gone my fourth time going through his hour talk. But if you're not a gold bug by then, you'll never will be because gold is money. And he talks about how the BIS, Bank of International Settlements, just elevated gold to tier one. Gold used to be tier three. That just happened. So tier one means gold is money. What was happening before this was the U.S. Treasury bills, bonds, were money. And so gold just got promoted to tier one, which Harry Dent and I get into it all the time because and he's a smart dude. But he wants everybody to buy treasuries. And this guy, Andy Sheckman, again, I hope, hope you guys interview him. If he doesn't make you drink the Kool-Aid for gold, nobody will. I mean, he is so frightening what he says. So my long way of saying it's getting worse. And this guy Sheckman has the data to back it up. Andy talks a lot, Andy Sheckman talks a lot about that. He talks about the BRICS. You know, the BRICS nations are uh, Brazil, Russia, India, 
China, South Africa. And he talks about how the, the Belt and Road Project now is going to affect 90% of the world's population and they'll all be on the CBDC yuan. They'll be going into Chinese crypto, not American. So the US dollar, according to this guy, Andy Sheckman, is toast. And that's why it's, the, you know, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, they're gonna take over the world with their own gold standard. And that's why, as you know, I've been a gold bug since 1972. I was a Marine pilot in Vietnam and I flew behind enemy lines to look for gold. And today I literally own tons of gold and silver. And so this guy, Andy Sheckman, is talking about how the, uh, <clears throat> you know, family offices and Commonwealth, everybody's buying gold and silver right now because they know the dollar's toast. So if, if you don't drink the Kool-Aid after drinking, after watching Andy Sheckman's video, yeah. I can't help you, you know. Say, but Robert, look, you know, look where gold's at now. It keeps dropping. We're below 1800 now, but I know what Robert's going to say. Fantastic. I'm buying more, right? I don't care about how, what the price is. All I care about is how many ounces. And I'm happy to say I now own tons because I'm a gold miner and a silver miner. You know, I don't, I don't, I mean, and I own physical gold and silver. I know no ETFs. My rule of thumb, as you know, Danielle, is if you can yeah. print it, I don't want it. <laughs> so what am I investing in today? Gold, silver, oil. I own the oil in the ground. I own Japanese breeding bulls, you know, Waigu cattle. How do you get involved in that? Did someone approach you and say, hey, Robert, there's a great opportunity here. I mean, how does one get involved in that? Well, because it goes back to that story. I tell I'm a Marine pilot flying off a carrier off the South China Sea. And I find out gold, Nixon took the dollar off the gold standard. I said, what does that mean? So I flew behind enemy lines because that the NVA had overrun the mine. So I, fl you know, proving Marines aren't the brightest guys on earth. And I try and buy gold at a discount. So I knew it was 35 an ounce. <clears throat> and the day I went looking for gold, it was $50 an ounce. And I was trying to get the little Vietnamese woman with the red teeth. I still remember her. I was trying to get a discount. I, was, I want a discount. She goes, spot. I said, discount. She goes, spot. I said, what the hell is she talking about? She was teach two of my best teachers on gold I ever met. And ever since then, Danielle, I drank the Kool-Aid on gold and silver. <laughs> How can we seize opportunity? How can we find opportunity? Well, <clears throat> they're, they're everywhere. Uh, I invited you and you still invited. Uh, we bought a gold mine in Utah. You know, I made the mistake of starting a gold mine in China. I took it public on the Toronto Stock Exchange and the Chinese took it. So I stopped eating Chinese food after that. I keep saying the same thing. Put yourself on the gold standard. You know, don't wait for the federal government to go back on the gold standard. You know, start buying some gold and silver coins and keep it in a safe and don't tell anybody you have it. But put yourself on your own gold and silver standard. Your biggest thing is put yourself on a gold standard and silver standard. The hard, either, you know, start with one silver coin is about 20 bucks, or one gold coin is about 2,000. But put yourself on a gold and silver standard because they're still real money. And that was just, and it's now tier one according to the BIS, Bank of International Settlements, which Andy Sheckman talks about. It was moved from tier, gold was moved from tier three to tier one, which means gold is money.